Hi, my name is Carrie Westhauser. We are starting today with one of our wood formulas uh, in this micro lecture, and today it is on the formula Sinisan. Sinisan is a Han Dynasty formula. It is a small yet profound formula with great effects and a wide range of clinical use. This formula is indicated for qi constraint and stagnation of the qi mechanism. Here is the formula. Uh, this formula is dispersing while nourishing. It is facilitating the ascent and the descent of qi. It is moving yang while moderating yin. And it is dredging wood while assisting earth. This small formula will vent heat without injuring the normal qi. And yet it dredges xiaoyang and vents to the exterior. So how does this small formula of four ingredients do this? So let's look at our ingredients. Here they are, chai hu, zhe shi, bai shao, and zhe gan sao. First we look at chai hu. Chai hu is spreading in the formula. It is the chief herb, and let's take a look at it. It is acrid and it is cool, and it enters the gallbladder, liver, pericardium, and triple burner channels, and it is releasing and relieving and venting. The smaller the dose, the more this herb upbears or raises the qi. The more moderate uh, dose, it moves the liver qi, and the higher the dose, it regulates the xiao yang. In this formula, it facilitates the ascent of clear yang and the descent of turbid yin. It disperses the clumped qi, and you have to remember that when the gallbladder qi is thrust outward, the other 12 organs all follow. And we know this from Suen chapter 9. The 11 organs take their orders from the gallbladder. Our next herb in the formula, zhe shi, which is unripe bitter orange, has the function of unblocking. Let's look at it. Zhe the deputy of the formula, breaks up stagnation and unblocks accumulations in our middle burner. It helps to facilitate the functions of the spleen. It is bitter, acrid, and slightly cold and enters the large intestine, spleen, and stomach. It can transform phlegm, expel focal distension, and, and fullness due to obstructions of the qi dynamic. This herb is very important for promoting the flow of qi and smoothing out constraint. The first herb, Chai Hu's action is upward and outward, while this herb, Zhe Shi's action is downward. And these two forces together regulate the Qi dynamic. Our next herb, Bai Shao, Peony, has the function of softening. It is the assistant in this formula, which nourishes the liver and preserves the yin. This herb has a holding in function, and the holding in function preserves liver yin, while chai hu disperses. This herb is bitter, sour, slightly cold, and enters the liver and spleen channels. And here it is. It has a nourishing quality to blood and a calming and alleviating effect on the liver. It can be used for constraint, disharmony, and pain. This herb is often thought of as a softening and comforting herb. Our next herb is Zhirgan Sao. This is honey fried licorice, and it has the function of moderating. Let's look at it. It is the envoy of the formula, which moderates the spreading nature of Chai Hu. It strengthens the spleen, it curbs the liver. It is a sweet and warm herb, and it enters the channels of heart, lung, spleen, and stomach. However, many consider it uh, to enter all 12 of the channels. This herb benefits the spleen, moistens the lung, moderates pain, and when used with Bai Shao, it harmonizes the characteristic of all the other herbs in the formula. And this brings us to the end of our micro lecture on the small but powerful formula of Sinisan.